Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. As you might notice, we are nowhere near civilization. And of course, Hurricane Sandy is still out there on the East Coast, but here on the West Coast, or actually this is not the West Coast, but out here in the desert where, oh yeah, President Obama, Mitt Romney, happened to do a campaign stop last night here in Las Vegas. We're actually, we're outside of Las Vegas. We were there for the SEMA show and we actually happened to be out at SEMA Road. But meanwhile, News still continues, and we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And four days to seal the deal. Yeah, and uh, nationally, every, as everyone would have known, which they told the president, don't go negative, so the president went negative. I, I'm the only one that can bring change, because I've uh, what I have done is helped the nation more than Mitt Romney's children and grandchildren would because you dare not turn this nation over to Mitt Romney's children and grandchildren because you're going to lose abortion rights. They're going to have black people working as slaves. and well, He didn't quite say that, but he did do the abortion rights bit, though. Ooh. Now, Mitt Romney's children are not politicians. The, the grandchildren are younger than his kids, folks, for Christ's sake. He said... The Democrats said this morning he get he went off teleprompter. When he goes off teleprompter, he gets vicious. Mm. The latest news is the CIA was not told to stand down when on Benghazi. The problem is the CIA is saying they were told to stand down. So uh, that's the there seems to be a contradiction again. Obama is blaming everything on the CIA, and these people are not going to roll over for him. They're the military folks. And the country loves Lambert and Shelton. Yeah, the problem is is that they wanted to know what Shelton did to deserve Entertainer of the Year. He said he's nothing but a television personality and a radio person. That's not... They said that they had two performers brought in, you know, they set records for box office. And, uh, and yet Shelton, who doesn't really do much touring, ends up as Entertainer of the Year. And they, one, of the, one of the people said, who the hell is Shelton? I know his wife is, and I thought he was... He, he said, I thought he was mooching off of her for a living. Ooh. And food and fuel shortages plague the hard-hit areas. But don't worry. The President of the United States made a call there yesterday for photo picture and then left and didn't do a single thing. What? Oh, yeah. They did nothing. Uh, the President didn't call out the help. He, they said that... What, Wait a minute. Said, I, I would have thought the help had already been called out for them. No, because the President... Uh, Isn't that know, considered a national okay, disaster? No. The way it works is... They're not, their votes, are, they're not going to be able to vote Tuesday, so to hell with them. Oh, that's horrible. They, they said because, they okay, they made it, they tried to get the Supreme Court to delay the election for a month so that these people would be given a right, given their voting rights. They said no. And one of the guys, one of the, one of the left judges said, you already are voting six months in advance of the election. They said, if you, what, like, they said, if you can't pack the box by then, you're in trouble. Light and dark, a tale of two Manhattans. On one side, a bustling city. On the other, an eerie stillness. Because the newer buildings all have generators with them. The older ones don't, but the newer ones have backup power. And that's the simplest part is it shows, it shows planning versus living in the past. And the people that live in the past are unfortunately Obama supporters. The people that live in the future are Republican supporters. Isn't that amazing? Ooh. And Sandy stole the things money can't buy. Oh, yeah, basically, uh, you know, people, uh, you know, a lot of children were killed because they, you know, they, uh, it, it happens on a work day and you can't have the, both sets of parents that are there and then one parent can't handle everything. I mean, one police officer drowned saving his children because his wife couldn't do it all by herself. So he, he dove into the water to get, pull him to safety and he didn't make it. Ooh. And former Penn State president charged. He's accused of criminal, criminal conspiracy to conceal child sex abuse by ex-football coach Jerry Sandusky. But there's a problem last night, which I heard one of the attorneys saying. It said it doesn't make any difference what they do because he went to an attorney. And he did everything he did on advice of attorney. Therefore, it makes him, uh, if he was doing what he was told to do by the legal experts, they have no charges against him. And divided by politics, united we eat. It doesn't matter how you vote. Most Americans have similar eating habits. Yeah, they all go to those places that the president wants to shut down. Tell them that they want to shut down your McDonald's. Tell them they don't want you to have peanut butter. Tell them they don't want you to, to eat traditional foods that you eat. 
and uh, you lose their vote real carefully. Also tell them that the Health Care Act basically will tell you what you can eat, what you can eat, and where you can go to eat it. What? Yeah. Oh. Or you can't eat something that might make, uh, make someone feel bad. Oh, and 4,000 cars hit the road in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. They're going to uh, uh, actually about, but when this is done, uh, you, that have already, they, they said the big thing in Las Vegas for the end of the show is, is that all the cars, watch out for your feet. Yeah. <laughs> the wind was coming very strong. They said 4,000 cars leave the building and the lots and go cruise to downtown Las Vegas. The cruise isn't that big a deal, but it's the leaving the parking lot. You, 4,000 specialty cars all at one time. We're talking cars worth millions and cars worth 50 cents all in the same line. And mystery packs pop up in tight races. Yeah, and 67 and outside groups appear in past month. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Democrats are funding packs to, to, to try to destroy Romney. They said what happened is, is that Everything that people like James Carville and other experts in the Democratic Party on campaigning said not to do, Barack Obama and his people have decided to do. They said the negative campaigning has turned off the younger women that he needed, and they, they don't like the vicious attacks that he's doing, and most of them aren't airheads like he's pointing them. They, yeah, the latest one from Planned Parenthood. You know, you're going to lose all your rights and you'll be in the back room with coat hangers if Mitt Romney is elected. Oh, God. Yeah, they, and, and then they said, well, Barack Obama had nothing to do with that. And then they said, this ad is approved by me. That, that's, that's, okay. They said what is happening, he's trying to get around the election laws now by saying, I, those were just things that I, I recorded it and then they put them on things without my knowledge. Well, no, they're, they're massive attack ads. They're, they're his style, and his style, you know, is undeniable, vicious. It's Chicago thug. Well, and they always say it at the end of the uh, camp, but he said they're the not, commercial. They, he said that they're being used without his permission. No, you can't use them without his permission because he has to sign off. He signs a thing with the election commission that he approves of these ads. So therefore, he's approved of those really mean and vicious things that are popping up at the end of the election, which is driving his negatives upwards. He, when you should be all cheerful and, you know, they said he should have done nothing more than stay on the East Coast. And he, that, that, uh, actually, more, if he would have stayed on the East Coast to help them. That he, they said it was a gimme that he was going to win the election. Mm. But he decided he had to go, he had to get to Ohio so he couldn't spend any time to actually to be there to do anything like George Bush did during Katrina, folks. George Bush and Katrina was out there examining everything. And, he, and we're going to try to explain it. He, unlike the president who didn't show up until Thursday, George Bush was there hours after Katrina hit. And George Bush was in a tanning. We're talking mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. And expatriates in Mexico keep eye on U.S. politics. Yeah, well, because they, if a... If, if a uh, what's his name? If, if Obama wins again, they'll flood back into the country. But there, there's, there's a reason why the Mexican Americans, the unfighted guests, are not showing up to sign, you know, to vote and sign all this stuff. Is because they know if, they, if Obama loses, they're going to get the they're going to get their rear ends tossed out of the country because the unions are really pissed off about them. They don't join unions, mm. so even if they stay, they're unhappy with them. Now, it's a severe scam warning after Hurricane Sandy. Well, yeah, because all these people will tell you how we can get your money. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. But you have to pay them a fee to get it. Oh. And home health care could save. Proposed medical Medicare deal may do well long term. No. The, the home, home care is gone because there's no money to pay for it. And NFL coaches fill November heat. Uh, well, because everybody, most of the teams are doing so bad that like Kansas City has no quarterback, and because they have no quarterback and no defense, they decided not to risk their valuable running backs and receivers now, which means that it's going to, they may never win another game this season, but they won't fire the coach because the coach can't be held responsible for uh, head injuries to two quarterbacks and uh, knee injuries to almost his entire defensive line. Take a big bow, Blake. Wife Miranda shares the love at the CMAs. I know, but they, they, no one wants to, okay. It's, it's basically going to bring an end to the CMAs is these, this award they give these two people. This was a mistake. It was a televised award. And, uh, you know, they, if they figure, okay, 
it be the lowest rated CMA in the history of the of their histories because what happened was it was t it was live on the East Coast and got delayed. But at the time they were handing out all of these awards to Blake Shelton and his wife, no one wanted to watch it. So it, by the time it got to the West Coast, it was you know, like uh, they were watching reruns on another channel that beat it. Anna Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, you actually have to know when to move when you're shooting. 